Hey everyone, probably not the best idea to start a YouTube channel angry, but um, maybe if I didn't start angry, I wouldn't start at all. So, I was minding my own business the other day when uh, a pastor's group that I belong to posted a graphic of a study done by our church in 2018. And the graphic basically revealed that um, two-thirds of our church believes that uh, they have to be perfectly following God's commandments in order to go to heaven. I can't even describe how infuriating that is. I can't describe how disappointing that is. Think of it this way. Think of you being on a sports team and you're working and working and working and working and working, trying to get your team to succeed. And in your struggle, you're too busy struggling to even realize who you're struggling against. And then you suddenly realize that your main opponents or many of your opponents are supposed to be on your team, but they're actually pushing and working the other direction. See, Christianity is unique. Well, it's supposed to be. Christianity is supposed to be unique in that every other religion in the world is based on a system of merit. You do things, and for those good things you do, you get rewarded. And if you don't do the good things, you get punished. Christianity is supposed to be different. It's supposed to be where instead of us killing ourselves to appease or please some far distant God. God sends his son for us. He suffers for us. He loves us. He works for us. He serves us. We struggle against him. He's alone on his team, basically. When he was here, his own disciples worked against him. His mother worked against him. Everybody worked against him because they didn't understand what he was doing. They didn't understand what he was about. But he kept going because he was determined to make a way to bring us home. There is no other religion like that. There is no other story like that. There is no other narrative like that. Mythology, Buddhism, Hinduism, Confucianism, Islam, anywhere you want to look. You will not find where the story is completely the opposite. Where it's not on us, it's on Jesus. Where salvation is not something acquired or worked for or achieved or wages to be paid. It's a gift given. And Christianity is supposed to be sharing this good news with the world. My church, in particular, fancies, fancies itself to be the church of all Christian churches, which means we should be foremost in preaching and teaching this good news. But a hundred and however many years in, pushing 200 in this century, more than two-thirds still think they have to earn their way by being perfect. I've been wanting to start this YouTube channel for a long time. I'm not sure other than fear and lack of time and intimidated by the process. I'm not sure what else has kept me. But the reason I wanted to start this channel was to let people know, especially those who have grown up in religion, Christianity, to let them know that the story the Bible teaches, the story Jesus came to reveal, is so different. And it's not like different like three things are the same and two things are different or five things are the same and one thing's different. It's opposite. Like it's not the same at all. Quick Bible story. 
Jesus, when he was here, the, there was a temple in Jerusalem. It doesn't exist anymore. Some people today still, and Christians today, still trying to go back and hope that, that, that it gets rebuilt, which is insane, but we'll talk about that some other time. This temple was the center of Jewish faith, the center of Jewish worship, the center of everything. And when Jesus began his ministry, he went into the temple. He chased out the people, the leaders that were in there. He flipped the tables over and declared that the house wasn't at all representing what it was meant to represent. Of course, when he left, they put it all back together and kept on going as if he'd never been there. At the end of his ministry, one week before he died, he went back in. Chased everybody out again, flipped all the tables over again, and declared that his house, his father's house, would be a house of prayer for all nations. But instead, the Jews had made it a den of robbers. And the superficial interpretation of that is that they were stealing money from the people, which they were. But the much deeper meaning is that they were stealing hope from the people. They were stealing the truth from the people. They were robbing the people of who God really is, what his story really is, and the genuine hope they could have had, had the truth been made known. And they weren't just robbing it from their own people, they were robbing it from all people. And as someone who has dedicated his life to teaching and preaching the truth about God and about Jesus... I'm here on YouTube because YouTube is the second most searched platform in the world, has over 2 billion users, and I meet people constantly, just in my little circle, who have been robbed of hope by religion, instead of being infused with hope by religion. So I'm here on YouTube, who knows how long. But the purpose of this channel, the purpose of why I'm doing this, is to open to the world, from my little corner, that God is way better than we've been told. That the core of Christianity is very different from what we think. And that hope is available to everyone, regardless of country, color, language, gender, doesn't matter. Jesus is the Lamb of God who came and took away the sins of the whole world. He did not come to condemn us. He did not come to tell us if we weren't worthy. He came to seek and to rescue, to heal humanity. So if you are looking for hope, if you have been done more harm than good by what you've been taught in church by religious people this is the channel for you and as we go video by video we're going to start breaking down digging out looking up and finding out it's a good story it's not a, it's the best story and it's not a story it's the truth so thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.